Hello and welcome to another entertaining installment of the Sunfall Dolphins TV show. Coming up on today's show, we got to know our Township Development Assistant Manager during one of the coaching clinics. We pulled our fluid right-hand batsman Cody Chetty for a chat. We crossed over to our women cricket side and got to know Protea women all-rounder Denisha Devnarayan. A perhaps underrated and yet explosive tier to the KZN Cricket Union is the KZN Women Cricket Side, a group of young women actively contributing to the rise of participation in this sport by girls. Spearheading these young talents is Protea's women all-rounder Denisha Devnarayan. After years representing her country, a personal tragedy steered her towards a period of retirement, leading her into what has developed to be a great passion of hers, coaching leaping bounds in this regard by making history as being the eighth woman in the country and the first in KZN to obtain a level 3 certificate in coaching. Now back to representing her country and coaching, she told us more on living your dreams. Not many people can say that they made history. I didn't even know, I didn't know at first that I was the first woman in KZN and the eighth in South Africa. And, and like I said, not every day you get to make history. Started it off as something that I want to do on the sideline. When I started my level three, I said, this is something you're really good at, like you really have a talent and maybe this is what you're made of. I think that's the fascinating part is that, like they always say, wake up and do something that you love or have the job that you love. And I am doing it. I really am doing it. And it's something I should have mentioned, but I, I'm actually busy with a human resource degree and it's something I don't tell people because I'm not really, really happy about that. But it is a backup plan. But what I love is the coaching is instilling these things in kids and that's the thing that gets to me i mean there's, there's no greater privilege and and it, it's so rewarding that nothing else when they say the best things in life are free that's what they're talking about the presence of an individual such as denisha who is proof to what can be achieved in this sport by women knows no bounds for the young girls who train under her a sentiment both denisha and the girls hold notice to yeah i think it gives them hope it, it and plus it's it, from a role model perspective the kids that's coming through the system, their eyes get lit up huge. It's like Christmas for them every day. Uh, representing my country, huge, play. I have goosebumps talking about it right now. There's no greater feeling than that. Day. As soon as that shirt comes on, and knowing that you represent 49 million people, I mean, that, that on its own is a ma magnificent step. Where to start? I mean, um, she's been an inspiration. Obviously, we've been friends for 12 years. So it's nice to have her in the SA set up again after she uh, stepped down. Um, in terms of role model, I don't think we could have asked for anyone better. And I think to the girls that are up and coming and stuff like that, they couldn't ask for anyone better. I mean, if you just look at her, she's, she's fit, she's dedicated and hardworking, and I don't think you could ask for anything more in a role model. She's had such a big influence on the team and me personally. Um, you can't buy experience. Um, so the experience that she brings is, is one of a kind, and she's so easy to listen to. She leads by example. Yeah, which is. It's been so easy to listen to her uh, because of the experience she gained from SA and obviously her level 3 coaching and stuff like that. Proud hand to the girls, Coach Devna Ryan held little back on her belief of the KZN women's team. I've always said the KZN women's team is the underdogs. We've never had the big names in the side, but what we do, we have a bunch of talented, very dedicated, passionate girls that want to do well for the team. And I think that's the important part, is getting them to work for each other rather than themselves and I admire every single one of them I mean they don't get paid to come here and what they do is for love and passion and I've got a lot of time for people like that the games that they did have they annihilated the team I mean they killed them they crushed them so I feel sorry for the girls that's going to come but these girls are hungry and when someone's hungry and they haven't eaten for a long time they're going to finish you off very quickly a coach Proteus player and tertiary student Denisha does it all without letting anything stand in her way a way of life she encourages all girls to follow. Just jump, just jump and try it. Obviously, especially in this society, there's always this line about what girls should play, what boys should play. That's out of the window now. Girls are playing cricket and just go there and enjoy it. Try it. If you don't like it, you don't like it. But what knows? Something great can come out of this. You can be the next protea. That kind of thing. Two, three, let's go! Yet another splendid upgrade has come about at Sahara Stadium Kingsmead through the restoration of the sports museum that exists within. Through the collaboration of the former and current president of the KZN Cricket Union, Kasim Dokrat and Faiz Jafar, the history of KZN Cricket has been immortalized. 
They told us more on this initiative. I think it's a very important step which we have taken. Uh, I think it's now almost 25 years since the unification of South African cricket. And I think a time has come that we need to find as, as much as possible the legacies and the histories and the achievements so we can put it together and say, yes, there are people of all shades of colour who played sports in this particular country. The values he means, I think for youngsters um, of today, many of them don't know of the greats of yesteryear and I think it's important that we keep it alive, you know, the history of, of, of cricket in our province, so that these youngsters know where many of us have come from. Um, you know, it, it, it's sad that youngsters of today don't know some of the players of yesteryear, some of the greats. Long-time avid enthusiast of cricket, Mr. Dockrat told us more of the memorabilia that can be seen within the museum. I think, uh, firstly, the, the, one would say there's probably two to three parts to it. Uh, there's a significant part, which is the documentation part, uh, brochures, uh, books. The other is, of course, photographs, photographs of uh, teams, individuals, presidents, etc., who have, over the period of time, have also contributed to, to this particular sport. And then, of course, the personal things of players and administrators who have donated their, their bats, their blazers, their jerseys, their gloves, their, and all sorts of things. So there's a, there's a wide variety of uh, you know, things in a museum, not only nationally, but also internationally. And it also highlights uh, South African cricket, not only from 1990, but even to the, uh, prior to that. The opportunity for the public to go out and witness the cricket era of yesteryear is what the KZN Cricket Union aims to achieve through this one-of-a-kind exhibition hall. The public have not seen a sports museum or specifically in our country. And I think I would like to encourage the public that they could come here, spend some time here. They can sit here, do a lot of reading out here also, besides looking at the memorabilia, which is, which is here for hundreds of years. And that, that means a lot to this particular cricket union. I think it would be nice if everybody gets to experience walking through our museum and, and getting part of the stadium experience. This is part of the plan um, to make things more exciting at Kingsmead and I think it, it's about a stadium experience. Hearing truth to the fact that the Seinfeld Township Development Programme aims to uplift individuals in the townships within the world of cricket, we learned that along with the youngsters being provided a shot in cricket are the coaches who rise along with them. Take for example assistant to the Township Development Programme Manager Ngo Balanga. Having had his start playing school cricket at a time where opportunities for black cricketers were limited, the then jilted Ngoba landed himself coaching through the encouragement of Linda Zondi, rising in the ranks from there to the office administration position that he has now. Ahead of the coaching of the coaches clinic that he oversees, Ngoba told us on how much emphasis is put within the program in uplifting their coaches. We always try to open opportunities for other coaches. So all the coaches that are involved in the township program and rural department all come to Kingsmead and they all learn the same thing that week and go back to the townships and do what they were told to do in the coaching of the coach. So all the kids in the program are in sync. They are doing one and the same thing. Paying it forward from how his recruitment by Linda Zondi had changed his life, Ngoba furthered the uplifting motto of the program by recruiting other coaches upon his promotion. There were a couple of guys in my team that I saw had potential. They couldn't go to varsity technicons, uh, their parents couldn't afford it, so I drafted them in the township program. So they're basically in charge of Claremont and Watabega now, as I've been promoted to work with uh, Sanel Siwa Kuzwa. We heard from a few coaches who had been touched by this program and Ngoba's influence. It does help us a lot because uh, we're here with different coaches. We learn a lot from them. Uh, there's old coaches that are there in the level like Coach Becky is there and he helps us with drills and everything. When you go back to our township, we're there. Ngoba has been there teaching us how to play the shots, how to bowl, how to field. So yeah. We change our lives because it's not about me, it's all about the other people from our township. 
Having been immersed in cricket for years, his passion for the game and his pride in seeing African players excel has grown exponentially. Cricket started as a passion to me. Now it's, it's more than a passion, it's love. Because I'm, I'm basically in the middle of things. I make decisions on what to do, when to do it, so I'm there. It really means a lot to me because they're doing something that I, I, I couldn't do. Uh, it's nice to see uh, African guys make it to the top. So the boys must keep at it and must not look at things on the side. In between the spirited performance of our boys as they take on opponents during the second half of Momentum One Day Cup, we sat down with top order batsman Cody Chetty. Born and bred Durbanite, Cody has come far from the days he would play cricket in his backyard with his family. Now donning the proud Sunfold Dolphins emblem, Cody let us in on how it feels to now be an idol to the Durban audience at home games. As a kid, I used to come with my dad and my brothers to watch, um, watch the Dolphins play. Um, and now to, to be on the field and turn behind and look around and see like other people come play to watch you play, um, that's a good feeling. Um, I knew the feeling when I was a kid that you know this is it's nice to watch my heroes on to play. And now that I'm playing, other kids can come watch me play. Just like the whole atmosphere of the crowd, and I always feel that sport is um, entertainment based um, uh, aspect. And so I think. We try and obviously try and entertain the crowd and obviously we try and give them as much wins as possible. It's a well-known fact that a brotherly bond exists within the squad. Cody elaborated on what that means to him and his teammates. One of the bi biggest things for our team is our team values and um, respect we have for each other. But yes, like, just, just like the whole guys together, like band of brothers, that's one of our big aspects as we take on the field and off the field. So just being with the guys all the time, traveling with them, spending a lot of time with them, um, it does bring us quite close together. A man with a plan, Cody knows exactly what is required of him to contribute optimally to the team and to reach his ultimate goals. He told us more. I think my first thing is obviously a best one. I need to score runs. Um, that's my first job. Um, so I need to do my first job firstly before I worry about other aspects. Fielding is key. Fielding is very key in, uh, in terms of team with coach and stuff. That's, that's a non-negotiable. And then just like the um, calmness in the squad, I think I'm quite calm, uh, especially when I bat. Uh, like need to calm guys down, um, just like my energy on the field and stuff. So that's probably a big aspect. This season has been a bit up and down, um, but um, I'm working hard at my game. And uh, um, I think the next, hopefully I can keep playing for as long as possible. But I'm really keen for the next half of my career. I think I've been playing for about four or five years now. So um, as, as a player and as a person, I think I've grown quite a bit. And I'm really keen to go out for the next half of my career and move, move on and hopefully play for the, play for the Pro Tiers one day. Nice That's it for this month's show. Be sure to check out our website at www.dolphinscricket.co.za. Follow us on Twitter at Sunfold Dolphins and like our Facebook page, Dolphins Cricket. Until next month, goodbye.